Just as a background, I'm a rheumatologist who has dedicated his career to finding effective treatments or cure for a disease called systemic sclerosis. So before we get into DCSSC or diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis, let's talk a little bit about scleroderma. Scleroderma is a rare autoimmune disease that affects approximately 20, 200,000 people, I should state, in US. Scleroderma translates into hard skin in Greek language. It is further classified into localized scleroderma that affects young patients and systemic sclerosis or systemic scleroderma, which affects 75,000 to 80,000 people in US. So diffuse cutaneous subset is part of this systemic sclerosis classification, which is based on skin involvement and affects approximately 30,000 people in US. Now diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis is a very dynamic disease process with early worsening of skin thickening and potential life-threatening internal organ involvement, including, but not limited to interstitial lung disease, or pulmonary fibrosis and marked disability due to hand and other joint contractures. I think the key reason we wanted to study this disease is that it has the highest mortality of any rheumatic diseases due to internal organ involvement and lack of availability of effective therapies. I have to highlight seeing about 1,000 to 1,500 patients at University of Michigan on an annual basis from the conversations that I've had with the patients, the disease has a profound effect on their day-to-day -day activities due to loss of mobility, pain, exhaustion, changed appearance, depression, anxiety, and worrying about the internal organ involvement.